Are you looking for a new football news app? I can't lie, that's a very odd thing to just say in normal conversation, but I mean I- Then you've got to make sure to check out One Football down in the description below for all of your news, whether you're a Barca fan, Liverpool fan, or an Alfreton I don't know if it has them, I'm not gonna lie. Just download it anyway. Since the very dawn of time, there's only been one question on the mind of human civilization. Can you sign a FIFA career mode player for one pound? Wait, hang on. Sorry, who- right, who wrote this script? Who is asking that question in 47 BC? Tell me that one. I'm not gonna lie folks, I've seen this in the comment section many times and I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. Can you sign a FIFA 19 career mode player for just one solitary pound? We're Liverpool in this one, we've got plenty of money to be honest with you to dish about, we've got 94 million 10,240 pounds to spend, but we only want to spend one pound on a player. So I've looked around, I've found some really old players, alright, that haven't retired and aren't going to retire at the end of the season, so I can still actually approach all of them. I'm going to scout them all and then we're going to see whether we can actually sign them for literally a quid. Alright, we're back again. Oh my. My goodness me, there's some whopping players here. Look at this man on his preview. He, he does the thing is, they don't even look their age. They all actually look about 64, all of them. Now, we've already struck a bit of a stumbling block, ladies and gents. As you can see, uh, all of these players actually have a valuation. This, this isn't good. The only one that doesn't is Buffon, but he's recently joined. Even this 55 rated 39 year old is worth 4,750 pounds. What a shambles. I tell you what, straight off the bat, he, we're going to try and get him. I'm going to approach to buy this guy. All right, we've met up with the Japanese club. They've, I mean, they've, they've not got a very Japanese manager, but we'll bypass that. To be honest, I'm sure he's more focused on why on earth Liverpool are offering for a 39-year-old 55-rated centre-back. We're going to go in with a transfer fee, all right? And it's a pound. Take it or leave it, random Japanese side. We would be willing to pay a one pound transfer fee for Kawhi. Can we... No. Okay, we can't agree on it. It's not a much of a surprise under the circumstances. Our manager left alone in the negotiations room there. He'll have to spend the pound on a bottle of Fanta instead. It's a sad day. The reality is if we can't sign that guy, we're not going to be able to sign any of these people for a pound. So I think we're going to have to come back later in the season and see if any of their prices have decreased literally down to a pound. All right, we're back. We're in January and a few of these players are now zero pounds. This is this is brilliant we've it's brilliant news i still don't think we can sign buffon can we approach it no because he's recently joined that's fine but we can go and grab this donny from japan again ryuiji kawaii from hokkaido do consadole sapporo oh, I've, I've pronounced that horrendously Look, we're just gonna sign him. We're gonna approach to buy. We're gonna meet that same non-Japanese Japanese Donny and let's get to work. All right, so his current value is zero pounds. I wonder if we could offer zero. Can you actually offer zero? Is that actually possible? Let me see. Yeah, you actually can't. Oh no, you can't. You can only offer one pound. Right, okay. So we're gonna put a bid in for this guy of one pound. He's turned 40, which I assume is why his valuation has gone down again. So we're gonna submit that offer. We will be willing to pay a one pound transfer fee again. <laughs> it's been accepted. <laughs> <laughs> They've made a one pound profit on him in fairness. I cannot believe this. We're actually paying a pound for a player. <laughs> One pound has been accepted. This is brilliant news, right? Who else is available? Pablo Gignazu. Okay, apparently he would actually cost money though. Um, or we can approach him. Oh, we can approach him directly. Oh, that's a shame. His contract's expiring. So we can't do it with him. We can do it though with this guy, I believe. Dario Dinelli. No, we can't. He's okay. Pizarro. We can do Pizarro. Oh, for God's sake, they won't let him go either. So Pablo Gignazu here. He's, I mean, he's got a zero pound value, but his contract's expiring. So we can't can't make a bid for him per se and then down here Pizarro's also zero pounds but they won't let him go they'll only allow a release clause which is really frustrating so the only player we can bring in right now is <laughs> for a pound is this man Ryuiji Kawai what would be even better is if you could actually give him one pound in wages but I know that's literally not possible he wants
wants a prospect squad role. Fam, you're 40. Apparently, he's wanting to make his first team breakthrough. I don't see it happening, mate. I'm not going to lie. One year contract length is probably fair. It was never going to be five years, was it? Now that's done, I'd like to discuss his salary. Oh, odds on offering a pound. Odds on offering one pound. I really want to offer a pound. I'm going to do it. I don't even care. A pound. Take it or leave it, son. One pound in wage. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be on 52 quid a year. Ryuiji, mate, it's a solid deal. The wages you're offering are insulting. I mean, that's probably the least he could say under the circumstances. We've now agreed a fee again with Ryuiji for one pound. We're going to actually offer him a solid a wage this time. 4,400 in wages. He's wanting a times four wage bonus. To be fair, he probably needs all the money he can get. He's going to need a new Zimmer frame soon, so we might as well accept it. We've signed a player for a pound. He's horrendous, so let's try and actually sign a good player for one pound, but there's, I mean, there's the first part of the experiment done. People are constantly talking about big money moves and how there's too much money in the game. Just there proves that you can sign a player. <laughs> you can sign a player. He's already unhappy that he's underpaid. We've literally just signed you. You should have asked for more wages then, Ryuiji. All right, so season two has arrived, and I'm sorry to say, but everyone of any interest is retiring. Danielli's retiring, Pizarro's retiring, Ginazu's retiring, and Buffon, unfortunately, is retiring as well. We have obviously signed a player for one pound, so we know it's possible, but I'd like to sign someone like a Buffon because that's what I've seen in the comment section. So we're going to retry this, but with Buffon at a different club. So unfortunately, even despite trading Buffon into a different team, it decided that he wasn't available in the first transfer window and then he retired in season two. For me, clearly it's just unlucky. I don't know, some people maybe have had a lot more luck than me when it comes to signing this particular player. However, I am going to try and sell somebody now for a pound. I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know if it'll be Buffon, but I'm just going to try and put as many old players in into a team and see if I can sell one of them for one pound. After hours on end spent trying to create a situation where I could sell Gianluigi Buffon or any old player for literally one pound, you would not believe how difficult this is. Honestly, I can't even begin to explain what my life became during those hours. I'm actually on the verge of a meltdown. We finally found our target. Shinsuke Nakamura. With his value now down at an incredible zero pounds, I knew we were going to be getting bid after bid for this Japanese curtain head specimen of a man. All right, so we finally, I literally, I'm not going to, I've actually been sat here for hours. We finally stumbled upon a player we can sell for a pound. It's Shinsuke Nakamura, who's like 41 or 40 or something like that, playing in the Japanese league. He's 71 rated. He's got a current value now of zero pounds. This is Muniz. I don't know who this is, to be honest. He's the, he's the manager of Malaga, and he's come in with a zero pound transfer bid for Nakamura. Quite frankly, I'm utterly disgusted. We're gonna propose a new one. We're gonna slap one pound on the table, and this is the test as to whether we can sell a player for a pound. We've bought one for a pound, but we're gonna sell now. Well, hopefully we're gonna sell one. We've put that on the table. What is he gonna say? <laughs> he won't have any of it. He's so offended. I can't believe it. He's literally stormed out the room over a quid. Shinsuke, mate, this is not the best time to thank me. I'm literally trying to offload you for one pound. All right, we've got another bid. Let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to negotiate. It's Monterey this time from Mexico. We sit down together on the sofa, literally about to negotiate whether they can buy my player for zero quid. We're going to do the same again. We're going to put one pound on the table. Monterey of Mexico, come to your Sensors. What else are you going to spend this pound on? <laughs> As if this is actually a thing. They won't have any of it. I mean, there you have it. I think this is pretty conclusive evidence. You can buy a player for one pound. You need extreme luck, though, for it to be anyone of any sort of worth. The only player I could buy was some 55-rated Japanese guy. But you probably, if you get lucky enough, if Buffon survives three seasons, you can actually buy him for one pound if you want to. However, you literally cannot sell a 
a player for a pound. It's, it's actually impossible, which I find absolutely hilarious. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought of the video and whether you've tried this yourselves. Meanwhile, if you enjoyed it, slap a like on this one and subscribe if you are new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out. You can also follow me on social media these days too. My Twitter and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Let's...